Today's scripture will be reading Aim for Change and Keep in Mind in Unison. Aim for Change. By the end of the lesson, we will affirm the loving God requires obeying God's word. Embrace the commandment to love God with all ourselves and discuss ways to share God's love with the next generation. Keep in mind, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Deuteronomy 6, 5, King James Version. Let us pray. Lord, I'd like to thank you for waking us up this morning. Yes. Giving us travel and grace. Uh-huh. I ask that you open our hearts to love more like you. Yes. And to do your will. Uh-huh. And to be more obedient to you. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Good morning, good morning. Are you glad to be here one more time? One more time. This is the day. This is the day for the Lord. Let us rejoice and be glad. And be glad. Amen. So much happens from day to day. The time that you can rejoice right. is a blessing. a blessing, letting you know God still has his hand on you. Amen. And that's a good thing. Amen. As we look this morning, our lesson titled, Devotion, uh-huh. and our love and devotion for God. Amen. Devotion, anything that you're devoted to, you spend some time with. That's right. That calls you to sometimes prioritize uh-huh. when you're truly devoted to anything. Amen. Uh, in that devotion to whatever it is, nothing gets you out of your way in that devotion that you to. Right. Yeah. One of the things as we look here, we ought to be devoted to our worship to God. Amen. There ought to be some strong devotion Amen. to our worship for God. Because he told them, Israel, and it's in uh-huh. right today, two things. Love uh, love me, uh-huh. and if you love me, uh-huh. keep my commandments. That's right. So that means there's some love and obedience in uh-huh. there. Be devoted to loving me. Amen. Be devoted to keeping my commandments. Amen. And your life will be so much blessed. Amen. Isn't that a simple recipe? That's right. Boy, that's just about as simple as you can get it. Right. <laughs> Nothing hard about it. No. Uh, he didn't make us do it. No. He just asked us to do Amen. it. And he says there are some benefits in that when you do that. Amen. It's more to it than that. That's right. So when we look at that, why we go so far left? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> It's so plainly laid out for us, so easily laid out for us. And they say straight is the way, uh-huh. narrow. Uh-huh. And, and it's narrow, but, but, but it's yeah. all right. Uh, 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 Sometimes going down a one-way street is all right, because you ain't got to worry about nobody on the other side. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we look at this lesson this morning. Deuteronomy, which is the last book of the Pentateuch, uh-huh. and the Pentateuch are the five books of law. Amen. First five books of the Old Testament are law. Uh-huh. This is the concluding book of law. As we look, and you've been reading probably in what happens and the progression of what happened with the children of Israel, uh, they had come out of Egypt, uh, they had 
so many experiences coming out of Egypt Amen. and uh, still experiencing things at this point. Mm -hmm. But time has progressed and, 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 and it's time now for them to enter into the promised land. Yes. God wants to remind them just like he does us today. You, uh -huh. you, you're going into a land that I have provided for you. Yes. And, and, and I like how God always gets us and makes us mindful. Yes. When you go somewhere, when I prepared for you, just don't go any kind of way. That's right. We know. Now, there are some stuff. You're representing me. Uh -huh. yes. and, and when you're representing me, I want some things to be upheld. I, mm -hmm. I want you to do it in a fashion that, uh, not that you get any glory, uh -huh. but I'm glorified in whatever you're doing. Amen. And, and can I say today that that's the essence of what needs to happen in the church? That's right. I don't care who's the leader, who's that's the right. president, or anything, the glory don't go to you. That's right. no, the right. glory goes to God. Amen. Yes. And, 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 and you got to be careful that when you're putting yourself out too much and the glory starts going your way, you be, better check it. That's right. Uh, 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 your agenda is not God's that's agenda. Right. That's right. Because God's agenda is for him to be glorified. And we are just the vessel that uh -huh. he uses for glorification right. Right. Yes. because he has no other vessel. Right. Animals and trees and all that, they yes. can't do nothing. We are the only right. ones that, that, that we, he uses to glorify Amen. him. Amen. And so we ought to put that first and foremost, whatever we do, uh, in the will of God, uh, that, that I would decrease and you always increase. Oh, yes. uh, just, just thank me for being that vessel. Yeah, yeah, just the yeah, 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 just yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the fashion like of it, God. the fashion yeah. of how yeah. it came yeah. about. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, uh, you look at his wondrous works, yeah. right. exactly. and and it's it's glory in that. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, so so in this, so as, as we look at this 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 lesson this morning, and it's from Deuteronomy the sixth chapter, first through the nine verses. I'm interested being on that fifth verse. But one of the things that uh, God was so uh, displeased with the generations after they had come out of Egypt. Uh, the humanness of us, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't get any study. I just did enough to get my grades and get out of school. All these ologies and all these studying of the study of and the study of, I don't want to go. But human man is, uh, is yeah. the study of human man can be something. Right. <laughs> uh, come out of so much mm -hmm. oppression and yeah. bondage and slavery, mm -hmm. and then get right into the avenue of complaining. That's right. yeah. uh, come out of something that was horrible, uh -huh. yeah. and, 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 and made step by step so many glorious things right. uh, happen, not just one instant, That's right. after another instant, uh -huh. after another instant, uh -huh. and you're still complaining. Right. You're still hard-headed. Uh -huh. You're still stiff-necked. And, and, and God does not like that. He gets, he gets displeased with that. Uh, uh, even uh, you that have parents, you get disgusted with your children if they keep doing the same thing and you're trying to work for them. It gets disgust within you. I, I'm trying to do for you. Uh, 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 and you keep doing the wrong thing. Uh, uh, and so God in this generation that had come out of Egypt, he says, you know, I'm, I'm so disgusted. And I like how Moses had gone before because Moses isn't leading, but his leadership is dwindling and down. His, uh -huh. his leadership is now coming to him. But, but as Moses writes in this book, uh, one of the things I like about last week's lesson, Moses went before God and pleaded for the people. Uh, uh, he saw that God was angered with this generation. He saw that God was ready to just, uh, really just destroy him right now. Yeah. And, and Moses pleaded for him and, and pleaded for God's mercy that, that, that these people would be spared. Yeah. And, and, and said that the, the God, that, that even when you do this in, in, in what you have all the power, but when you do this other folk and other gods are going to look is like, you're not that powerful of a God now. Uh, 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 you break your promises and you break your co covenants with your people and all that. And I don't think that, that uh, 
Moses just persuaded, but that was just God and his doing. He changed his way of doing. He said, oh, this is what I'll do. I I'm going to destroy them because they have been so disobedient. Yeah. But I'm going to do it in a slow progression. Mm -hmm. Over the span of 40 years, then I'll destroy them. So, so this is basically, this is kind of basically where they are. This is a, 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 a another, uh, Moses is now trying to do a final rehearsal prior to them enter into the promised land. And, and he's trying to let them be mindful what God requires of them. Uh, 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 when we look at this, <coughs> It can happen. Uh, sometimes you can, you can be caught up in a group of some good folk that are doing the right thing, but you ain't doing the right thing. You're just in that group. And, and so it was because there was some, uh, even when they come out, they weren't worshiping. They, they come out of Egypt, but they weren't worshiping. They just got to get out, but they weren't worshiping God. Uh, 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 can we can we think about this now? Everybody that's breathing air right now, God has done something for them, Amen. and is doing something for them right now. Yeah. But do they, do they praise and worship Him? Do they, do they worship yeah, Him? And we've got to be careful of taking God for granted. God is merciful. Yes, he is. He's long suffering. But 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 he can be uh, when he when he execute his judgment, he's gonna do it, and it may be a fashion in a way that uh, you get grievance that you think God is hard in your life, and you can examine your life, uh, and I can say for myself, God has given me fair warnings all my life. Nothing happened that when God does something that when judgment comes upon something that, you know, we, we say, well, maybe this is what I did 10 years. I don't think that. But whatever comes, God does it on his own time. It may not be something I did last year like that. But it's something that, that he brings to my attention. And he does it because I need you to get better. Amen. I'm bringing it to your attention because I was displeased with it. I'm not trying to destroy you. I'm trying to make you better. Yes. Now, 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 when we get warnings uh, on our vehicles and like that, uh, uh, if your check engine light come on, do you just keep on driving day in and day out? <laughs> uh, 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 when that little, when that little tire thing, that low pressure tire come on, do you just keep on driving? Huh? It's a warning. warning. It, and it's amazing how we can react to warnings in that such. But, but God warns us. And, and we say, yeah, yeah. Because we're still breathing, we're still walking, we're still talking. We just keep on doing the same old thing. But when it finally comes to the point of judgment, it's too late. So when we look at this lesson, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, our first three verses of this lesson talks about, love God by obeying his word. That sure seems simple. Uh, if, 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 if we were to take a poll in the church, I think everybody's hand would go up. Who loves the Lord? You think anybody's hands would be down? Huh? You don't think so? So, it's been finalized that everybody loves the Lord. But does everybody obey the Lord? Yeah. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. You got to put them together. Huh? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait. Hold. We're getting off track. <laughs> oh, you got to ride. You can't change track now. Huh? You got to stay on the same track. They confess the uh, but they don't uh, 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 
if you if you well you don't you like him. <laughs> so so you don't you don't love him. They still do. That's the humanness in us that, that has love. But, but God says, Here, here's the thing that I want you to be different. And I know that people will know that you are mine because you are keeping my commandments. That is your identity. And, and, and in this, that love for me, it, you don't have to tell nobody you love the Lord. Just, just live your life. Just, just, just let your life demonstrate that. You don't have to tell anybody nothing. You can go about all your business, and your lifestyle will say a statement for you. Uh, you don't have to say a word. Matter of fact, folks will say more about you than, 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 than anything about your lifestyle. They know that you have a godly lifestyle. It's something about your living that's portrayed in your daily going. So you don't have to tell everybody, I love the Lord. So, so he he tells us that 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 that, 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 that as we look at this and, and and when you read in chapter five, there were some commandments that he told him. So there, this is a combination of some commandments from chapter five and bringing it over to uh, chapter six in Deuteronomy. But it says, first of all, love God by obeying His word. Uh, he said, now these are the commandments the statutes and the judgment which the Lord I like this which the Lord your God is your God is it your God okay then we can say that your God commanded to teach you that you might do them in the land whether you go to possess it here's what he's saying you going on to a marvelous place There's some things you need to do. Uh, 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 I, I can imagine, Brother Hubbard, I'm, I'm going to go to White House tomorrow. I'm going to just go knock on the door, see if I can get in. Huh? Why not? I, I'm an American. I'm a, I'm a taxpaying citizen. I'm a taxpaying citizen. Huh? I support the United States. It's a what? It's a what? Oh, it's always something sets some rules for us when we're progressing. We just can't go somewhere any kind of way. God saying, you, you got a land that's set up, and I got everything set up for you. But, but here's the, that there's some rules and stipulations prior to you going in. Uh, 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 have you ever, have you ever, have you ever? Been at home, and 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 mother and father, and we we go and visit some 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 of our kinfolk. And 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 mama said, "Now when y'all get over there, don't huh? don't be big, run." Is there some stipulations before you get there? Oh yeah. Huh? <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know they, they they you know their house may be a little more defined than ours, and they may have a little better thing. Now, when you get over there, y'all sit down. Don't be running around. Don't be big. And don't right. be, uh, don't be big. There's some stipulations before you get over there how to act. So 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 he's telling them when you get over, this is a good land, but there's some things that I want you to do prior to you going over there. Uh, 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 and 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 he says. First of all, first of all, first he says that, that thou mightest uh, 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 fear the Lord thy God. And I, I'll get to that in just a moment. But, but, but here's some things that uh, he wanted them to do. First of all, keep the law. Yeah. Keep it first. Uh, uh, and then he want them to, uh, uh, he wanted them to hear the Lord God. Isn't that something? When you hear him, God speaks. And God speaks in so many ways. But he tunes us where we can hear him how he speaks. 
uh, God speaks in different ways. And, 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 and see, when you, uh, when you hear him, just don't do it. He didn't say listen to him. It's a different thing. He didn't say listen to God. When you hear him, it says something is registered that when I hear, it's something that's penetrating that, that I, I need to respond. So when I hear, once I hear, it's something I need to do. Amen. And, and, and in this hearing, and, 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 and uh, one of the things it says, this, this, this requires uh, 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 all of this, all of this. It says that uh, these were the commandments to hear and obey as they inherit God's blessing. And that's the key thing. We cut off so many of our blessings. We miss so many of God's blessings. Don't you know God wants to bless us over and over again? He has so many blessings, uh, uh, we, we, we can't even receive them all. Uh, and he says all the, and then here's, here's the thing that's going to get our blessings in a balance, folks. Obedience, if we obey. Blessings are for us. Who would not want blessings stowed up on them? But our blessings come from obedience. Uh, you know, sometimes even as children, we knew when we messed up. We knew when we cut ourselves off from our parents. We knew when they were doing good for us. And we knew that act that we did might, might, might cut short something. But it didn't keep us from doing it because we wanted to do it. And, and so it was, well, you know, I, I, I was doing this, but from now on you do it yourself. Something happened that maybe you were doing it for their goodness, yeah. but it was disappointing to them. Now I'm not doing that anymore. You take that upon yourself. You cut your blessing off. Uh, I would not want to be living in the world and not have God's blessing. What would it be a world like that with no blessings of God? That'd be a terrible living. So, 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 so. Here's the thing that, 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 that when we look at this, there's these things that he's saying that if you obey me, there are certain things that's going to happen when you inherit that land. Uh, here, here's some things that were in verse 5, that, that, that in chapter 5, that are not here. He said that you may have mercy. Uh, that he, and this is the thing, that your days may be prolonged. Amen. Don't you know God gets our... Uh, our living on, don't you know he, he regulates that? Our time upon this earth. Amen. And, and, and he says that, 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 that your days may be prolonged. Uh, 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 it may be with, uh, uh, well with you. Amen. You know a whole lot of folk living in misery? That's right. A whole lot of folk living in misery. Uh -huh. and, 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 and we take it because of God's blessing that things are well with us. Uh, are you stressed out? Huh? Is, whole, is, is church folk all stressed out? Should they be? But some are. He says that things be well with you because you know I'm your God. And I'm taking care of you. Amen. And if you do that, things be well with you. Amen. Uh, 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 and then, then in verse 2, as I read to it, then I, it says, that you mightest fear the Lord thy God and to keep his statutes and his commandments which I command thee, that thou and thy son and thy son's sons all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. That's yeah. that prolongedness. Do these things. And he's not looking for just the right now. Your sons uh -huh. and your son's son. Isn't that a good thing that yeah. life from generation to generation can be well with us? Amen. Uh, uh, and then he says that, that, that you may live. Mm -hmm. uh, then in verse 3, we call that, that you may increase mightily. And that don't mean gaining a whole lot of stuff. That's right. <laughs> Folks think, I'm going to have a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's not the increase that he talks about. That's right. Increase comes uh, 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 more than in possession. That's right. Uh, uh, Sometimes I, I like, if God just increased my knowledge that I can understand your word. Amen. You know, I, 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 I want to increase because I want to understand your word. I, 
Now, I want to understand, what, what are you seeing? Yeah. Now, I get a little bit of, but, but can you increase my knowledge yeah. that, that I can know more of you? Those kind of, can, can, can you increase, and, and in that joy that I have, can you? Uh -huh. I want to, my joy to be increased. Uh, uh -huh. Uh, that, 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 that love that I have, uh, uh, I want that to be increased. Mm -hmm. And it's not for me. It, it's just uh -huh. to show that how devoted I am to you. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's not all about me. Uh -huh. And we've got to remember, it's not all about us. That's right. uh, uh, and then it says that, 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 that you may prosper. Uh -huh. And let, let me put it this way. That don't mean everybody's going to be rich. That's right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> It said in the Bible that he want us to prosper. Well, uh -huh. that's true. But a dollar and a quarter may prosper for some folks. And it may take a million for some other folks. That's right. Well, it, it, don't, don't, don't try to gauge what prosper is going to be. Uh -huh. Prosperity will fit individually. It's not all about stuff. We are rich anyway, y'all know. We are uh, millionaires. Yeah, but we. We rich. Y'all, y'all probably don't really. You tell somebody, I'm rich. Tell somebody, I'm rich. They look at you, because my father is rich. And I'm the, I'm the children. I'm heirs. An heirs of the children. Joint heirs with Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I'm something. Yeah. 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 Uh, then, then he says that, that you may, uh, uh, and here's the other thing. In God's blessing, you know what God does? This is what I like. Everybody in this room has an enemy. Enemy. He'll keep your enemy at bay. That's right. That's a blessing. Amen. Because your enemy is going to destroy you, annoy you, and all the kind of things. That's right. He keeps your enemy at bay. That's uh -huh. a blessing. Uh, 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 you may have the best goods. Uh, you may be righteous. That's a blessing. God, and what is righteous? Being right with God. All of those blessings that he, for us, and now Moses is trying to tell the children, these are the precepts. Uh -huh. As you go to this good land, before the curtain is lifted, before you see the beautiful city, uh, uh, before you enter to the land, there are some precepts that you need to know before you possess the land. Amen. Don't go over there any kind of way. That's right. No. There's some other folk over there now. That's right. But you, my people, uh -huh. don't get intertwined with those folk. That's right. uh, uh, you, my, you, my special people, uh -huh. I've laid it all out for you. All you have to do is possess it. Uh -huh. Period. Well, wasn't that easy? That's right. I, I mean, uh, 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 Sister Jones, if somebody told you today, well, you know, we, we got a lot that you didn't know about. We just built you a brand new home, and it's all laid out. Uh, uh, we got everything you might need, and uh, you got some, we got spares and everything, but, but the only thing you need to do is go and sign and say, I accept it. Uh -huh. How would you feel? You'll never have to pay a penny on it. You don't have to do nothing. The upkeep's all taken care of. As long as you live there, all you got to do is possess it and accept right. it. That sounded easy, doesn't it? Amen. But that's the way it was for the children of Israel. Huh? <laughs> he said, it's all laid out. That's right. uh, uh, a land flowing with milk and honey. You ain't got to worry about sardines and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> to get potted meat no more. <laughs> it's flowing with milk and honey. And all you have to do is partake of it and be there. God just lays it out for us. Uh, uh, uh. And 
and, and he said that, 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 that look, uh, uh, that, that, that you might, uh, this thing, that, that the commandments were given for this purpose. Here's the purpose for these commandments. That, that first of all, that, that, that might be obeyed, first of all. Uh -huh. That's the first and most thing they were given for. Uh -huh. That they might be obeyed. Amen. Uh, 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 then the other thing, you got to keep them. Amen. Not only obey them, uh -huh. you got to keep them. Uh -huh. uh, 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 then there's to, then this, this is the other, is, is to cause fear of evil and produce blessings. Uh -huh. This fear, this fear, this fear, this fear. What did he say something about fear in verse two? Let me see. That thou sons and thou sons. Oh, that thou mightest fear the Lord. What does it mean to fear the Lord? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That, that word kind of got me. Respect. Ah, reverence. Mm -hmm. You ought to have some reverence mm -hmm. and respect mm -hmm. for the Lord. Uh, uh, that fear, that fear. Uh, uh, men must learn to respect God as the lawgiver and judge, keeping in mind that the justice of God as well as his mercy and long suffering. Amen. You, need, you need to respect God. Amen. We are living in a sad time now. There's, 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 there's many who have just lost respect for God. They don't have any reverence for God, uh, uh, and 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 so he said that 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 this 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 has to happen. Then then I like something else that he talked in verse two. He says now, this is this 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 came to me, and I looked at this and and I thought about it. Every since the beginning of man, uh, there has been responsibility given. There's a responsibility always given. And, and in 2024, it has degreased, it has digressed to a major, major fallacy. Men are not standing being men. Mm -hmm. And it's showing. That's right. You're right. Men are not being men. You're right. And God put man in charge. Amen. God left a responsibility with the man. Amen. It's all right uh, to have women like that, but the responsibility God has left with the man. And here's the tragedy, here's where the tragedy is. Decrease it now because he's left it in the home. And that's where it starts. That's right. And if it deteriorates in the home, mm -hmm. as it moves out, uh -huh. it's worse uh -huh. and worse that's right. and worse because it never got rooted at home. That's right. That's right. And that's where that's where all the problems come from, uh -huh. because there was no stature, there was no bind, there was nothing strong at home. That's right. uh, 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 long as I live in 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 daddy's house, I never did. Even behind the door, ball up my feet. <laughs> Even if he didn't see it. Uh, I got a little disappointed some of the things he wanted and I can't, but I kind of smile like I like it. <laughs> I had no choice. <laughs> but, but, but man stood firm. Uh -huh. And when man, when daddy said something, uh, 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 it meant something. Now, don't don't go to mama, right. cause daddy done said it. That's right. It's settled. Uh -huh. Ain't no sense going anymore. Well, you know, then you know, mama was corrected. What did your daddy say? Uh -huh. She said you're right back. <laughs> you you think you'll get a little grace by going to mama? And she said, well, what did your daddy say? That's right. <laughs> so you don't have no recourse. That's right. that's, that's that's what you're supposed to do. And and so 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 look and and and, and then look. In all generations, whoever fears God will endeavor to bring his children up in the way of righteousness. Amen. Did you know? Did you know? It says his, and uh -huh. not her. 
hears, hears, which means it's still on our responsibility. Amen. Yeah. Uh, 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 that they are also may fear him uh -huh. and live clean and holy before him in word and deed. Amen. But here's the here's the here's here's where the problem lies. If I'm the man of the house, and I have no good in me, what's gonna pass on to my next? If I have no good standing, mm -hmm. if I have nothing righteous, what's going to my son? Uh -huh. He's gonna get the same thing mm -hmm. that I have. All right. And that's why I'm saying in, in, in this life today, we men have got to get back to God. Amen. And and, and then if we if we can capture it from the home point, don't you know it'll make it better in this setting? That's right. Amen. Don't you know it'll make it better when they're out? Amen. They'll conduct themselves better. Uh -huh. Because they have no they, they have no guidelines because they're in the world. Uh -huh. And they're operating by the world standards. If you don't put your standards, man, uh, there were so many things that Daddy told me that I, even though he wasn't around, I wouldn't do them. Because I'm afraid it might get back to him. And I ain't want to be caught doing that. Uh, some of them fell out said, well, y'all go ahead on. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go this way. I'm going to go this way. Y'all go ahead on. Well, ain't nobody going to know. Well, I'll be thinking about Daddy. He just got wind of it. I'm not doing that. And that's the respect, the Amen. reverence. He wasn't so fit, but I respected him because Amen. he told me right. right in my face, don't do. Uh -huh. So I had to hold that respect for him. Amen. Same thing is now. When God commands us to do, we ought to have the respect Amen. and honor uh -huh. what he tells us to do. Amen. Uh, uh, and so, so it says, and then he said, this is a, Hear for this cause, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy fathers had promised thee, in the land that flows. That's all he said. That's right. He laid it out for you. Uh -huh. Just do it. Amen. You know, we, we, we see that way that came out in Nike a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But if we can put that with the word of God, just do it. That's right. Just do it. Just do it. Uh, 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 sometimes, uh, 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 Sister Harriet, I don't quite understand, but God said, uh -huh. I'm going to do it. Right. In my little old, uh, uh, finite mind, oh, oh, that would make sense to me. Huh? You sure that right? Hmm? Just do it. Right. Because God said, and that's settled it. That's right. Just do it. Uh -huh. don't, don't try to break it up and analyze. All that. Uh, 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 he's trying to he, he's trying to put too much analytics in it. <laughs> don't, don't don't do that. Uh, 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 it just, it's good for you. It's just like uh, uh, <coughs> castor oil. Uh -huh. Anybody have castor oil? Oh yeah. Uh, you know it probably be good for you. Just take it and swallow it. Huh? Huh? It's it, it good for you. Just put it in it and let it be through with it. Don't be saying, oh, it tastes good. Now just swallow it. Because <laughs> it's going to do you some good. <laughs> you try to say, but it might make my stomach hurt. It don't taste good. Not just take it. <laughs> So, 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 what I like about God and his commandments, they're not grievous. That's right. God's commandments are not grievous. That's right. If we would look at how he has designed for us, all we got to do is follow the yellow brick road. Amen. And we can, we can be home. That's right. We, we don't even have to click our heels. We just follow that straight and narrow, and we go home. So, so he tells them that, that here it is, uh, 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 he commands them to keep the law, to hear the law. And, and listen, 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 this is something that 
I wonder sometimes, are folks really hearing the word? Or are they just listening to the word? Is it a difference between hearing and listening? That's right. That's right. I think folks, when they go to a setting of Sunday, well, I, I heard him preach. Yeah. You listened to him preach. Uh-huh. You really didn't hear. Because hearing, once something here, it resonates with you. It, 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 it does something for you. It, 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 it moves something. If you really heard. Uh, but if you just listen, all you know, you heard something saying. You, you, nothing, nothing, nothing stuck with you. Mm-hmm. It was just listening. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so, so, so it is. But I like now from from verse five through nine. Uh-huh. These are not suggestions. Right. These are strong commands. Amen. And God is not saying consider it, think about it, do it. Do it. Uh, uh, verse four. And he starts off, because he gets their attention, he says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord God is one Lord. He want to get them straight on that. Uh-huh. He is a triune God, but he's one Lord. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 when, we, when we think about that, uh, uh, that one Lord, that one Lord. And, 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 and his verse 5 is, is often read. Verse 5 is full. Uh-huh. Verse 5 is heavy. That's right. You can, you, can, you can spend some time on verse 5. Uh-huh. This, this is a command. Uh-huh. And thou, you, you, mm-hmm. shall love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, comma, with all thy soul, Comma. Mm-hmm. And with all thy might. Uh-huh. It's a total. That's right. It's not piecemeal. Uh-huh. It's whole. That's all. Right. What's on the other side of all? Yeah. Huh? And nothing on the other side of all. That's right. Huh? He says all. All. Uh, all, uh, all, You want God to be with you always? Or some, 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 sometimes? Always. Oh, okay. Just check. Uh, uh, this, this all, this requires total self-surrender. Did, did you get what I'm saying? This calls you to surrender yourself totally. Amen. As, as, as maybe the poker player, you all in now. I, hear you. I mean, this, this, you, yourself, yeah. all, all of yourself uh-huh. is totally surrendered. Amen. N- n- nothing stands out. I- I'm not doing it for, for, for me. Uh-huh. This, this is what all that I have within me, uh-huh. all the might that I have, all the, with all of my heart. Uh-huh. And, and listen. Have you ever heard somebody doing something half-heartedly? Uh-huh. Huh? They doing it, but it, 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 it. they just doing it out of routine. Uh-huh. Huh? Right. That, that's kind of half-heartedly doing it. Uh-huh. But he says, he, he, I want you to do it wholeheartedly. Amen. I, I want you to be totally submersed, and when you do it, it's all of you. Uh-huh. So don't leave out none of you. All of your soul. Amen. All of your heart. All of your might. Uh-huh. Put it all there. Right. And when you put it all in, you don't have nothing left. That's right. Uh, 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 uh. Sometimes, 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 sometimes when I mother would fix a plate and something, she said, you got to eat all that. Uh-huh. And I get to a little piece of me that what I didn't want to eat no more. She said, you got to eat it all. <laughs> I'm thought I'd done good. I'd eat most of it. And I'm ready to put my plate in. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Eat it all. And, and when that all comes out, there's nothing left. <laughs> yeah, I, I sure, when she wasn't looking, I thought I'd kind of put it in. You, know, you still got some on the plate there. 
so mighty light. Eat it all. <coughs> so, so, so God wants our to total totality, Amen. and which makes it good, Amen. because when we give God our all, uh -huh. He's so pleased. Amen. He's satisfied. Amen. But but when you hold back on Him, uh -huh. He knows it. That's right. He knows when you're not doing for my all like that. He knows uh -huh. when you're not putting it all in Him. Look, look. It would be a travesty to come here just routinely. Uh, I just go to church because it's Sunday and it's time to go to church. Uh -huh. huh? That's, that's kind of half-heartedly. Uh -huh. You're not in it. You're not engulfed and excited about his going to worship him. And, 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 and so this, and so it said, and then it said, look, and these words which I command this day shall be in thine heart. That is the whole place of what every, the issues of life flow right. from the heart. Yeah. Everything. You know, God talks about the heart so much because so much happens with the heart. Amen. Uh, uh, don't you know if your heart's not right, you can't do anything right? If, you're, if you, your heart will reflect your character. That's right. Uh, that's some cold hearted people. That's right. And it reflects. That's right. uh, 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 there, are some, uh, there are some people who has tender hearts, uh -huh. and it reflects. Uh -huh. It shows your heart may not be seen from visibly, That's right. but how you react, it shows what kind of heart you have. That's right. uh, Pharaoh had a hard heart, uh -huh. and it showed, That's right. and God responded to that. Amen. He wants our heart to be conditioned. He uh -huh. wants our heart to be uh, full of love, uh -huh. that kind of heart. Uh, 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 and, then, and then he says, look, uh, when we think about this, there's so much this in, 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 involved in these commandments. Uh, uh, these words shall be in your heart. Uh, you shall teach them diligently to your children. And talk. Here's, here's the other thing. Here's the thing that I, I just, caught, just crossed my mind. In 2024, this doesn't happen anymore. Listen, teach them diligently to your children and talk about them when you sit in your house. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. That's what God said. That's right. He didn't say talk about Dallas Cowboy when they come over. <laughs> <laughs> huh? He didn't talk about the, what, what, what's the latest fashion and all that. He, he, hey, when they in your house, they uh -huh. in your house. He talking about the men. That's right. Huh? Hey, go back to the men. That's right. When they're in your house, uh -huh. they're there with you. Uh -huh. So when they're in your house, you need to talk about it. Amen. Wouldn't that be a good thing if it was happening in every home? Uh -huh. How the world would look differently? Oh, yeah. uh, 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 when you walk by the way uh, 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 and when you lie down, that's uh -huh. in verse 7. You shall put them for a sign upon your hand and uh -huh. on the front between your eyes. That's in verse 8. You shall write them up on the post of your house uh -huh. and on your gate. That's in verse 9. Do we ever get that so engulfed to put all of that kind of thing that it's on my gate, it's on my post, it's everywhere? I'm letting you know. The only thing we have on our side is no solicitor. But but wouldn't it be something if we got that in gold and, 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 and we were so in tune that we, and I'm not ashamed either. I'm going to put it on my post. I'm going to put it on my gates. Uh -huh. And I'm not going to be ashamed right. when I put it there. Uh, 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 beware at least your uh, forget the Lord. Here's the thing. Uh -huh. You can go so much that you forget about God. Amen. What a travesty to forget about the one who's done so much. Amen. Uh, 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 you shall fear the Lord your God. Serve uh -huh. him and swear his name. Uh, you shall not go to other gods which are around you. Uh -huh. You shall not Tempt the Lord your God. That's in verse 16. It's not in our lesson. Ye shall diligently keep the Lord. 
Amen. I like that. What does diligently mean whenever I feel like it? Huh? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. It don't mean All when time. I feel like it. All the time. Diligently means you got to have a strong effort. I mean a strong, willing effort. This is nothing just to, this is no, this, this is, I mean, it's, it's strong. When you're doing something diligently, it shows. Uh, uh, then it says, do, uh, do the right and good thing in the sight of the Lord. Amen. That ought to be our everyday thing. Amen. I don't see where you go every day. You don't see why I go every day. But there's one that sees me every step, everywhere I go. And he's saying, do the things, the good things, in the sight of the Lord. These commandments, this is as the children go over to Israel. One of the things that I, I wanted to say about this, we, we, we talk about the Israel of old, but the Israel of now, we have those same things that God requires of us. We don't have a, 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 a get out of jail free call. We're not exempt from that. That's right. We're to do the same because we're still God's children. Yeah. And he still requires of us to do what pleases him. Amen. And, and let me tell you something. In this thing that I, when, I, when I'm studying this, I, I like about when it's leaders. God chose his leaders, mm -hmm. but his leaders always stayed in his command. They were leaders, but they didn't get the big head. Right. Because I'm in charge. I'm just using you as a vessel, mm -hmm. as my leader. And as long as you do as I tell you to do, yes. you'll stay in accordance with me. Yes. But when you move away from what I'm telling you to do, yes. you're on shaky ground. Yes. And so that, 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 that causes us. So this, this now, I like this thing, being devoted. And over mm -hmm. again, as I say this, anything that you're devoted to, you're going to spend some time with Amen. It. I'm, a, I'm just going to bet, Sister Paula, that you pick up your Bible once or twice before you study. I, I'm just going to bet you do that. I, I'm, I'm just going to bet. Uh, uh, that's something we all do. We, 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 we all not wait Sunday and wait till the pastor gives the scriptures and then can't halfway find it. <laughs> and and, and then, then when he says, well, yeah, okay. I ain't getting nothing out of that. You ain't spent no, you haven't put no, you ain't put no fertilizer on it for, for it to grow. You got to spend some time. Amen. So when you hit, it resonates, it becomes, and you begin to understand something. Amen. Uh, you just can't get it right off. That's right. So you've got, if you're devoted to God, if you love him, uh -huh. you'll spend some time with him. Amen. And you'll spend some time with his word. Amen. Can I tell you this? And I hate to bust your boat. Sometimes when you, it hurts. Uh -huh. You find something, it hurts. Uh -huh. And you have to take it all anyway. Right. Because sometimes you'll find yourself, I know sometimes I find myself in the midst of the he's singing that to me. Uh -huh. he's, talk, he's talking to me. Uh -huh. I, I need to listen to what he's saying. And, and okay, let me do better. Amen. So in all this, as the children go over, and I like about this, and wouldn't it be if, if we would close the book right there and close the chapter? He gave them all the right things. He gave them a good land to go to. And they went over there and they did everything that God wanted them to do. It'll be good if the story ended there. It's all right. But we find ourselves that God was a rescuer over and over Amen. and over. Long suffering God. Amen. He has patience with Amen. us. Yes, he does. But let me tell you something. Don't take that as a license that you're getting yeah. away. You right. Judgment day is coming. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I've told you. Mm -hmm. I've warned you. Mm -hmm. And you chose to do. Amen. You got to live with your consequences. Amen. Yes, you do. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that lesson. At this time, we'll have highlights from the adult classes. Talk class. Any highlights? Amen. Amen. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, one thing I got out of the first thing I got out of the lesson.
lesson. The first thing I got out of the lesson this morning was that uh, to love God and to show God love, we need to obey his obey word. Amen. 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 And the next thing was Deacon Brian was saying that man has lost respect for God. And while I was sitting, I was thinking, well, how do you have respect for someone you don't know? Mm. If, you, mm. if, if we don't read God's word or understand God's word, we don't mm. know God. So a lot of us nowadays, we got, we're not in the word. Mm. Uh, we're not teaching our children the word. Mm. Therefore, they don't know God. So I don't see how they have respect for God. Mm. And uh, while reading the lesson, I have something I want to read that hit me. Uh, the heart is uh, to amen. the heart is to the seat of understanding, intellect, and intent intention. It is where we do our thinking and where our character is formed. Mm. The heart represents the nucleus of the human being in which decisions and moral choices, Whoa. both good and bad, are made. True love, worship, and holy principles come from within the heart, as do the evil issues of life, which mm -hmm. is something I never thought about, evil coming from the heart. I always yeah. thought, okay, Good. that's from the mind, not from yeah. the heart, yeah. but uh, so far. And the, the heart is also the seat of consciousness mm -hmm. of memory. Mm -hmm. Therefore, to store the commandments in our heart is to keep it in our conscience as All long right. as we live. That's good. So that's one thing I was saying. I never thought of evil being in the heart. Huh. I always thought about the mind. So yeah. that gave me a thought for that and something I need to really think about. You know, what's in my heart oh. is actually feeding my mind. Right. So. right. That's good. Thank you, Sister Weed. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you know, when, when um, Deacon Brian was talking about listening and hearing, um, it kind of brought up something, uh, <laughs> reminded me of a conversation that I had with a young person one time. Um, I was criticizing some of the music that they were listening to. <laughs> and <laughs> they came back and they said, do you ever think listen to some of that music that y'all used to listen to back in the day? <laughs> Do y'all really hear the words that y'all <laughs> said? <laughs> and so they brought up this song, <laughs> and I'm sure some of us older ones, you know, if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> and being right. <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah. I said, but I was just listening to the tune. <laughs> I wasn't, you know, hearing the words. But, you know, that's the way it is sometimes with us with God's word. Sometimes we hear people say, you know, something over and over. We're listening to what it's saying, but we're not actually hearing it. And the reason that we're not hearing it is because we don't have that right relationship with God. If you don't have a right relationship with God, He's not going to reveal certain things mm -hmm. to you about his word. Mm -hmm. You can hear it all the time, oh, you know, and, and you got to really listen, you know, to, to, you know, teachers and, and preachers, you know, when they're preaching. You know, a lot of times we, they, we get these little, uh, you know, uh, sayings, you know, they, it sounds cute, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's something that gets our attention, but we don't really pay attention to what it's actually it's saying. saying. And, and that's the thing. And sometimes we get, you know, we, we trying to drudge somebody about how good they are by how many of those little things they can come up with <laughs> when they ain't really preaching yeah. or teaching what's actually in God's yeah. word. Yeah. And so we have to be careful about yeah. it. It might sound cute, yeah. right? <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's what God wants right. us to hear. Right. And so that's the thing that we need to concentrate on, and especially when we're teaching our children yeah. and when we're praying, you know, asking God to open up my heart, my mind, so that I will hear mm -hmm. what you want me to hear and not just be listening yeah. to all that gibberish that yeah. we always hear. Thank yeah. you. Amen, amen. Amen. Any other highlights? Um, I have highlights. So 
what I got a lesson is that we need to be more diligent about our pursuit for Christ. Mm -hmm. And also, I think when Brother Brian was talking about teaching at home, we could also use that at New Light. To me, we have to be more diligent about what we're doing here All at right. church. All right. And All right. one of the... Good criticisms, I guess, of the church that I've heard and probably all of us heard is that the church, people don't come to church, certain people don't come, and it could be an excuse, but the point is they say the church is hypocritical and our people in the church, and I think before we get defensive about that, we need to look and see, is there some truth to that? Right. And if right. it is, we need to be diligent, diligent. about trying to fix there you go. I won't say the church, I'll say new light yeah. and try to address some of those pro, uh, issues yeah. that the people are saying so that we can, because it's hard to tell somebody out there, you need to be more diligent. Yeah. If at new light, we're not diligent about yeah. building up our church and better our church. All right. So that's, so that's all I had is not, no other highlight. Amen. We'll have a review by Reverend Shields. Oh, that's good. Amen. That's good. God is good. All the time. All the time, God, God is good. good. Amen. I miss you guys. We miss you. We miss you too. <laughs> I really did. Yes, right. We really, really miss you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just checking you. Whole <laughs> morning. Just checking. God is good. Yes. And I'm standing here this morning because he is good. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. My grandmother raised me. Now, the lesson here talks about the grandmother's maturity. My uh, grandmother raised me from a little baby. My mama had me, and times were hard, so the kids went to grandma. And uh, so, as I grew, she started teaching me about God's word. Uh -huh. Started teaching me about what to do and what not to do. And, and I looked at this sign up there. It says, love upwardly, love inwardly, and love outwardly. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's a, a commercial on TV said, do you hear me? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> talk, talk, she, she's trying to yeah. fix her phone. Yeah. Do you hear me? She said, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> then another one comes by and says, do you hear me? Yeah. yeah, I hear you. God is listening to us. Yeah. All right. It's not that we have bad children. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Things have changed. That's right. The law have changed. You, can't, you have to be careful of how you handle and raise a child. That's right. Because they can go and turn you in and you'll go to jail. <laughs> so don't be so hard on our children. I got one in my, in my house. But he's not a child anymore. He's about 40 some years old. <laughs> and so it's, it's, it's hard trying to, trying to teach a child when they're trying to teach you. But God is watching. Oh, yes. Amen. I'm going to say he's looking uh -huh. and he's booking. Uh -huh. All we can do is do what God instructs us to do. Amen. And if we do our part, yeah. God will do his he part. Gonna do it. Amen. He's going to do it. Either. In our lesson, it talks about devotions. Uh -huh. My grandma and I. Uh, we would have devotion every Sunday morning. Wouldn't miss it. Uh -huh. Every Sunday morning. We'd go to have devotion, go to church, Sunday school. And I would say, Grandma, I, I need to, uh, I need to uh, go to town today with the boys. <laughs> she said, well, if you go to church, after you get through doing church, well, you can go. I could not go where I wanted to go 
because God was leading and directing her in which way she needed to lead and direct me. Uh-huh. After she passed, now this is my, my, my mother's uh, mother. When she passed, my, my grandma passed. Am I born? Do you hear me? I hear you. Okay. When, 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 when my grandma passed and I finished high school, I didn't know what I was going to do. But I knew one thing. Uh-huh. I shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding uh-huh. in all thy ways. Acknowledge him uh-huh. and he shall direct thy path. Amen. What happened? Here I am. God is still directing oh, my yeah. path. Yeah. Amen. Because the devotion that we had was good enough to keep me going in the right direction. Amen. Went to air conditioned refrigeration school. Y'all didn't know that, did you? Did you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> but don't, don't call me because I ain't got no tubes no more. <laughs> Amen. Went to air conditioned refrigeration school for a year. Got my degree. Went to uh, the University of Texas when I was working in maintenance. And uh, for four four years, got my certificate, and here I am, here. All we have to do is 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 show that love Amen. that runs from heart to heart and breath to breath. Amen. And let me pause right here. I thank you guys for your prayers while I was sick. Amen. All, right. All your prayers. If, if you didn't pray. Pray now, pray tomorrow, pray whatever. Amen. God brought me here, and, and, and I thank you. Amen. Amen. Devotion. If you can, I, I, mine don't do it, because like I said, he's 47 years old. Mm-hmm. Well, that's my baby's uh, boy. Mm-hmm. I have three girls. Mm-hmm. Phyllis, she was here not too long ago. Uh, Mona, she did, she's a beautician, and Gay, she's uh, a mother, pretty like that. But God is still good. Amen. Yeah. Do you hear me? Amen. God is still good. Amen. And I thank him every day of my life. Uh-huh. Because it's not easy living in this world. I told him, Lord, just let me live until I get 20 years old, <laughs> more, 20 more years older. Yeah. And let me, let me take care of my children, get them out of the way, and then you can do what you want to do with me. <laughs> but you know what I, I think I would like real much? See him coming through the sky? Uh-huh. Lord shall descend from heaven with a shout. With, with the voice of an archangel. That's what he's going to do. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on. Uh-huh. You hear me? Amen. Don't give up. Amen. Just hang on. Because ain't nothing we can do about nothing. That's right. Just hang on. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. The doors of the church are open. Right. Amen. There might be one here that would like to accept, accept Jesus Christ or want to make a... Uh, uh, Confession, or whatever. Amen. But I'll hear you. God will hear you. Amen. Sister uh, Jones, I'm sorry I didn't make it to the uh, program. They say it was great. But I saw some of the, uh, one of the pictures. It was great. All right. Amen. But I, I know y'all was praying. Amen. Let me ask you a question, then I'm going to go sit down. I, my time is just about out. Anybody from the country? Nobody from the country? Everybody raised up in the city? I still live down in the country. You was in a little town in the country? Did you ever eat uh, syrup, butter, and bread? Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, do you hear me? 
served by the bread. That's what made me sick. <laughs> they, they didn't tell me not to eat a whole bunch. They just said, it's a little good. But God is good. It, it was ours to extend, yours to extend. I'm to with you. God bless you. Good morning, New Light. Good morning. Minutes of the New Light Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church, Sunday Church School, September the 22nd, in the year of our Lord, 2024. The school was called to order by Brother Derek Hubbard at 9.30 a.m., singing Woke Up This Morning with My Mind on Jesus. Prayer by Brother Derek Hubbard. Scripture for today, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 1 through 9. The subject of the lesson, Our Love and Devotion for God. Uh, the main thought, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. The teacher took charge of the class for 45 minutes. Officers present two, teachers present two, visitors present none. Grand total attendance for today, 17. Grand total last Sunday, 18. Total enrollment of school, 56. New students enrolled zero. New members received none. Total offering for today, $22. The weather was partly cloudy and humid. Total bottles brought 17, number of birthdays none, banner offering class, banner Bible class, banner attendance class, disciples, number of bottles, number of presents 17. Amen. Con contribution uh, $22. The privilege was extended by Reverend Shields. The class review was made by Reverend Shields. The closing song, God Bless Our Sunday School, Prayer offered by Brother Derek Hubbard. Um, Bible study would be Wednesday at 12 p.m. noon. Sister Erie Molden, Secretary. Sister Irma Harvey, Assistant Secretary. Deacon Lee Jefferson, Superintendent. Brother Derek Hubbard, Assistant Superintendent. And Reverend Joseph C. McCormick, Pastor. Amen. You heard the minutes. Are there any necessary correction? If not, the minute stand approved is read. Any announcements?